Right, so I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can automate your Shopify store blog 100% with AI, meaning you connect this little software that I'll go over here in just a second, you connect this with your Shopify store, right? And every single day, week, month, this software will generate, plus it will publish content to your Shopify store blog, right? On top of that, it also do the keyword research so it knows which keywords to target and also the content indexing. And I'll show you in a second how these blog posts look like and how you can choose your frequency. But first, let's see an example here. So these guys right here, they have a Shopify store in the gardening niche. And of course, they have a blog, right? A blog with multiple blog posts, which the goal is to have these rank on Google, right? Then people click, they skim through the blog, they get introduced to the brand. Maybe they have links here to their Shopify store product. So for example, this is a product of theirs, right? This in the middle of this article, they link out to their product pages. They have more content here, more links to other articles, for example, in which they rec recommend more products. So the whole goal of your blog and the whole goal of building out this blog with images, videos, uh, links, is to get people to go to, in this case, your Shopify store to buy uh, your products. In this case, it's in the gardening niche, right? The issue is that building a blog post, writing the whole content, uh, sourcing the images, uh, figuring out the best place to place the, the links in, takes so, so, so much time. This takes so much time, but it's worth it because people searching for all these um, keywords will find your blog that's ranking on Google, right? And eventually be introduced to your products. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can automate this with AI. So here's the tool you use. It's called Journalist AI. Just go to your dashboard. And before I show you how you can go here and click the integrations and then new integration connect uh, your Shopify store, because that's, I mean, that's important, but I'll, I want to go over that step by step. I want to show you the type of articles and how the content that's going to be generated with the looks like. So if I go here to history and just open here this one, this is the type of content that was generated with AI right here. So if I click view, right, from the images to the table of contents, right, the key takeaway section, the internal links, so linking out to our, our site, the in-article images, they're all done with AI. Even the, the videos, right, the videos that are relevant, not just to the article itself, but to the section in which they're included in, to down here to the uh, FAQ section and the call to action, in this case, organic fertilizers links out to the Shopify store where they sell that actual product, right? So all this done with AI, right? I can skim through these ones, right? Skim through these ones and just click here, post my Shopify store one by one, right? Or I can just click here, publish all to Shopify store and all three will be posted, right? So, but I did want to show you the type, of, the type of content it generates, right? So all the content, the images, the links, right? They link out to, maybe they can link out to some other articles of ours, right? This links to another article. So the thing with Journalist AI is once, let me do here a quick diagram. Once Journalist AI, is connected with your Shopify store blog, let's call this your Shopify store blog, it will, again, generate, plus it will publish all these articles every single day, week, month, or every single hour, right? And every single one of these, if we expand on one of these, right, if we expand, all these will have a image, a table of contents, proper structuring, right, in-article images, in-article videos, uh, bullets, tables, internal links, so linking out to other blog posts on your site, right? Maybe linking out to your homepage, to your contacts page. Uh, external links, so linking out to authoritative sources in your niche, it's very important for SEO. And down here, of course, a call to action to either your products or services, depending on what you sell, right? So all this 100% automated. And you can again go here, view them one by one, publish them one by one to your Shopify store, or publish them all, or I'm gonna show you how to do this. You can set up an auto blog so that every single month, week, hour, I'm gonna show you how it works. You can select the quantity and select the frequency. So in this case, every single uh, day, 60 articles will be published to my Shopify store. Most people just do five every single week, but you can play around with this. You can even do 300 every single um, six hours, every six hours, right? On top of that, um, and I'll show you how this all works. It does the queue research for you. So if you put here in your, here in your, sorry, in here your website, it will tell you uh, based on the competition and your keywords, uh, on your language and, and country, which keywords you should be targeting, right? Keywords that have low SEO difficulty, so that they are easy to rank for, as well as some decent monthly searches. And on top of that, even it does the indexing for you. So let's break down exactly how all this works. So first things first is you go to uh, presets right here, right? And you want to build out a preset. I won't do right now, right now. I'll show you the one that I just built. So click edit. If you just click new preset, the same thing will uh, pop up. Uh, so if I click here, we have all of these seven steps. And these seven steps are essentially every single thing, every single piece of info you're giving to Journalist AI so it knows exactly what to post and what's the output to your blog. So the base one is you choose the generation mode, right? You choose specific titles. You can choose keyword base or, be, or based on a, on a business description. For this one, for this video's sake, I just chose uh, based on title. So I just gave it, I mean, I can give it as many titles as I want, but I just gave it this once because I think uh, it's easier this way, right? Uh, so 
give a title. I didn't choose a brand. You can connect your brand if you like by connecting your brand, clicking here, connecting your brand. What happens is uh, essentially you are giving journalists uh, the power to produce non-generic content. So because journalists will be connected with your brand, right, it will know your brand's mannerisms, your brand's images, your brand's tone of voice. So it will produce non-generic content, which I recommend you do. You select your brand to uh, on, on this section right here. Then number two section, you can produce content in over 150 different languages. So if you're targeting, uh, if your Shopify store is targeting international markets like Spain, France, countries in Asia, I mean South America, South America, sorry, you can produce content in any of those languages to target those specific markets. You can choose the level of creativity, more original or more a bit more factual. I mean, you can change and play around with this based on how you want your brand to come across. You can change the tone of voice to be more informal, funny, academic. I mean, you can even put clown voice here if you'd like. You can change the point of view. First person, third person, or second person, you can even give it custom instructions. Now, step three is you already put the call to action. Like I showed you before, right? Every single article at the bottom here is going to have a section with a call to action, so a link to your products. And we, to do this, you give it a link. In this case, I gave it the link to the Shopify store. And both the section, the title of the section, as well as the context, the, the, the text, sorry, of the section itself, as well as the anchor text for the link you click, right? The little text to go to the article to go to the, the, your call to action, will make sense according to the hard article as a whole. It won't be just some randomly stuffed thing in here. It all makes sense. So it's important you have here your Shopify store link or even individual product pages if you want uh, every single article to have a call to action to your Shopify store. You can automate the headings. I just, I mean, you can do them manually if you like. You can enable or disable key takeaways or FAQs. I recommend you leave this enabled. And then here, internal linking, this is where you just paste in your Shopify store sitemap. So if I just open this one right here, this sitemap, this is the post sitemap. As you can see, all these are individual posts on the site, right? If I open one of these, right? These are all links to posts on the site. And by pasting this in here, this sitemap in here, when journalist AI is connected and producing content to my blog, right? These are all individual blog posts. If I expand again, sorry for the diagram. If I expand, this is an individual blog post. All the internal links, so all the links in my blog will link out, my blog post will link out to page, pages, sorry, in this sitemap. So it will link out to all these posts. So all the content produced will have links to this, all these posts, right? Not in a random fashion. For example, if this is a, um, an article on how to make garlic spray, right? The the context here of the paragraph or or, the, or the, even the context of the article as a whole will make sense and will be um, somewhat connected to the link that is linking out to. So if, again, if this article is about cats, it won't link out to an article about motorcycles, right? Doesn't make sense. So all this link is linking is contextual. You can even filter it down the sitemap by giving it here more filters if you'd like. Now, external linking, this is where just a click of a button, you automate the external link. So again, uh, we'll scrape the internet for relevant articles in your niche and language, and we'll add this link links to your blog post to link out to authoritative sources. So in this case, for example, here for this site, it will link out to the most authoritative sources, sources sorry, in this niche, maybe Wikipedia, and maybe some other sources. Then images, you can select the type of images and how you want to generate them with stock photos, Google Ancestry photos, even your own custom images, or these two AI models. You can enable and disable featured images, you can enable and disable article images. And finally, videos here, if you just enable this, right, you can disable if you'd like, but if you enable it, we will write the article, read through it, go, then go on YouTube and find for a certain keyword, what's the best video, right? We can add to this article and we'll add the video in the article and it will make sense according to the section and also the title of the article. So that's it. Or if you want to do it this manually, you can just paste in here all your videos. And that's that, right? If you hit save and then you go to generate articles, you go to the advanced mode, select the preset that you just created, my gardening preset, and then just click, I mean, you can click generate here, right? Now, this is all manual, of course, right? I want to show you how you can do this automatically, right? But before that, I'm just going to show you again, if I go here to uh, my history tab and show you again how the articles look like, oh, I can export them if I would like. Again, this is the type of content you're getting, content with tables of contents, proper structuring, right? Proper structuring of the article. This is an external link, right? This is an external link linking out to this other authoritative source in the niche and linking out to also a... Um, article in this same realm, in the same niche, right? 10 easy vegetables to grow from a seed, right? All this is relevant. So we don't link out to random sites, only sites in your niche. Again, more internal links. Uh, we have tables, we have quotes, we have more inter internal images, more stuff right here. All this, again, this, these images look really, really good. These are all done with AI. Down here, a call to action to uh, your, uh, this case, yeah, this is actually a link to a video. So, but you also have a call to action. Oh, sorry about that. If we skim through all these articles, and actually, this one wasn't created using the preset that I just wanted. I, I clicked the wrong one. If I click here again, just like I showed you at the beginning of the video, 
all these should have down here a call to action. And this is an FAQ, a call to action in this case, Fertilizer is linking out to our Shopify store. And again, uh, this is an internal link to other pages on our site, right? So this one, so links out to another article, right? A for them, uh, how to grow myrtle spurge, so the specific type of, uh, of vegetable right here, again, and this all is related. So I'm just rambling here. This is how you can do it. Now, how can you automate it? So first things first is, again, you go here to integrations, right? New integration, Shopify, and you just name your integration, whatever you want, right? And then put in your shop name and your access token. Now, to get the access token, just click here, right? And this video will show you a step-by-step -step on how to do it. This is a, sorry, this is a video of me exactly going over how you can do it. Uh, if you just want to skip this ad real quick here. Uh, actually, this is Afonso, my phone, so my co-founder. We'll go over exactly step by step. It takes like a minute, right, to get the access token. Pretty straightforward. Once you have the access token, just paste it in here and click create, right. Once your integration is set up, it should show up here, right. Then it's only a matter of clicking auto blog, new auto blog right here, uh, naming it whatever you want. We can do my gardening, my gardening automatic blog, right? Select my preset, which was my gardening preset. Select however many articles I want to post today. I can do, let's do five, let's do every week, right? Select my integration, so the integration with my Shopify store, let's say it's this one, click active and click create new auto blog, right? And so once this is done, again, Journalist AI is gonna be connected to your Shopify store blog and every single uh, week, right, every single week, it's gonna be generating plus posting five right articles one two three four five to our blog right and again all these if we expand on these this is an expansion will be niche specific with featured images relevant to what the niche is about a table of contents interactive proper article structuring in article images relevant to what the content is about in article videos tables bullets uh quotes uh internal links so these articles will interlink between each other in a way that makes sense, of course, not random. Also links to your homepage, your contacts page, your other pages on, on your site. External links, linking out to um, external authoritative sources. This is great for SEO again. And down here, of course, a call to action, linking out to a CTA, linking out to call to action to your products. Again, five every single week. Now, I want to show you, of course, also how you can do the indexing of this content. Just click here, indexers, new indexer, right? And simply name it whatever you want and click connect with Google. And so you're connecting uh, Journalist AI in your site with Google Search Console. So every single article that's posted will be automatically indexed in Google. Now we cannot guarantee 100% indexing rate, but we do have a 90 plus percent indexing rate. So that's that's pretty cool. Now, on top of that, if you want to help with uh, your research, maybe you don't want to, or you don't know what content to be producing on, just click, click your new monitor. And I'm going to do this right here with you. I'm going to paste here. Let's say this is my gardening site, paste it here in my gardening site. Uh, let's target the US, let's target English and click create monitor. Now, once you do this again, uh, let's open it right here and let's click uh, refresh. This will come up with keywords that are easy to rank for with decent search volumes based on your site, your country, your language, and also your competition, right? So this is very, very powerful. So if you don't know what content you should be producing about or what you should be talking about, sorry, use this because this is a very, very, very powerful tool. So this one takes a second here and there we go, right? Plant starts, gardening for us, gardening 101 PDF. So maybe for example, targeting, this is actually a very good keyword. So this is actually a bar intent keyword because people searching for gardening 101 PDFs are beginners, they like, they like to read. So you can actually define a very uh, ICP or ideal, ideal client profile here with this. It has 40 searches a month. Now this might not seem like a lot, but these are targeted people right, searching for this. And it looks like it's easy to rank for. Uh, vegetable gardening kits, uh, best plants for raised garden beds. I mean, you have so much stuff here, right? This will depend, of course, in your niche. And you can just select the ones you want, right? Let's see, I want this one, this one, this one, this one. And use, enable this and connect to your auto blog so that the content that you see here is gonna be produced based on these keywords. So it's pretty powerful. And this is exactly a step-by-step -step on how you can automate your Shopify store blog, right? Again, the whole goal of this and the whole, whole, the whole goal of spending time writing a blog, right? for example, like these guys did. Again, these guys do not use Journalist AI, but they could because essentially it automates all this, right? Images, tables of contents, links, all this. The whole goal is to produce a ton of content, right? That then ranks on Google, right? And then that is optimized, of course, for a couple of keywords so that people then go click the links, they get introduced to your blog, they read your blog, maybe have some email captures here. Maybe, for example, if you're offering 
PDF. For them to get access to the PDF, they have to uh, submit their email, right? So all of this, the goal is to get people introduced to your brand and maybe some, for example, click the links here, they redirect it to you, redirect it, sorry, to your product pages and they buy your product. So that's the whole goal of having a blog, right? It's similar to any other marketing channel, right? You have social media like these guys have here. They have YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, but also you got to target search, search engines like Google and Bing. And that's exactly exactly what Journal SEO helps you do, right? It automates the whole process for you. So I'll leave a link for this in the description so you can try it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.